Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. My name is Judith and in today's Creative for Judith I am going to finish some crochet projects. So I have two projects in front of me and one is a super cute granny square balaclava. So I already crocheted four of the eight uh, granny squares that I uh, need to make to put it all together. And then the second project is already my fifth cardigan. So this is one sleeve. And then I have the other one almost done and then I only have to put them together. But I really wanted to make a video for you all so I can explain um, where I got the patterns from or um, what I'm doing. And I also wrote down a few topics to talk to you about. So I'm really excited and let's get crocheting and finishing these projects. So I'm going to start with the cardigan because uh, this one is already almost done. And um, I only have a few of the yarn balls left so I hope I have enough. Um, so yeah, I am going to make a few rows on each um, back piece um, to attach them together so you have a um, bigger piece on the back and um, an opening on the front. So that's what I have to do. I hope I have enough yarn. If not, I have no idea what I'm going to do, but it will be okay. Uh, the second sleeve is already almost done. And then I'm going to make the granny squares for the balaclava that I talked about. What I'm going to do with this one is uh, use cream and black to make a really cute balaclava. And um, for this piece I have to make 8 of these granny squares. And what I'm going to do is... I have four of them and then I also want to make four of them um, like the opposite of this one. So I start with black, do white and then black. And then putting them together. So yeah, um, let's get started. I am going to start crocheting and then I'm talking all about how I got these patterns, where I got them. And yeah, let's go. So the only thing to do to finish this... Um, Cardigan is doing some single crochets um, on the sleeve So I'm going to do that And meanwhile I am going to talk about where I found these patterns And what yarn I use And so many other different really great things to talk about So the... Um, cardigan pattern I got from YouTube from Passionate Kelsey and it is a hexagon granny square cardigan so you first make a really big hexagon granny square and that is going to be your sleeve part of your sleeve and then you just extend it with um, the granny square stitch and then you make your really cute sleeve. So I this is my uh, fifth cardigan. As you could see, I had one over there. The brown one that is a really small one. Um, and then I made a purple one, a black one and um, one for my own. Uh, one for myself. There was... Um, mixed with two browns and a cream and I really love it um, you can just um, yeah, put it on and it is not that warm because uh, it has a lot of holes but it's also not cold so it's just something for in between weather and I think that's really nice so on all of my cardigans I did a cuff sleeve and on this one I did not just to know how that will look and how it will feel on me and 
yeah so um the yarn i got this yarn uh, from my local craft store and it is 50 percent acryl and 50 percent polyester and the first thing i noticed when using this yarn is that i got a little bit um how do you say that uh scratchy it just tickled a lot uh, on my skin so i didn't like that that much but i have i had already bought the yarn so um i might as well just use it um so yes so i'm now done with this sleeve i'm putting it in a knot and this is what it looks like so um the a uh, yarn ball came with different colors in one ball so it was a colored cake and what I did I got three balls of that and I started with the green then came the blue the um, light blue and then the white and I had three balls so for the second ball I did five rows of each color and then two rows of the white because that was the length of my arm and I just cut off the yarn rolled it in a ball like this in each different color so I could make these sleeves the same color and I think that's really pretty because if you have two different sleeves I don't know how that would have looked and so it just is really really beautiful I think so I'm going to try it on for you for a second. This is just a half of it. But I think this is really really cute. I also really like the cuff. But I think this one is also really really cute. It matches my sweater. So what I'm doing now is I am going to put two rows on the back of the cardigan. So only on one side. So the other one will be the front. And then I'm also going to do that on the other one. So I hope I have enough yarn. I have really no idea. Um, maybe I can do some sort of colored combination. But I'm just going to start with the lightest color. Because I have a lot of that left. And from the other ones it's just really small. Um... So I'm going to start here. So the pattern from Passion and Kelsey is really really easy to follow. Um, when I made my first cardigan uh, with her pattern I only um, had been crocheting for I think a few weeks. Um, I started crocheting in December I think and it is now February and I have made a lot and when I say a lot it's a lot I have made uh, this is my fifth cardigan then I made um, three tops so this one I made yesterday this is an M and then these fit me so this is an S and this is also an S so this one I followed the pattern by Passionate Kelsey and the other two I just um, made by myself no pattern just did what I like to do. So that is what I made and then I made those two beautiful vests and a bucket hat. So for the vest, for the brown one I made a tutorial on my YouTube channel. Um, I really love making that. I got the idea from Pinterest and I just started making. I did a few changes um, and just made a really cute pattern. It fits really well and what I like about it is that you can make it in any size that you want. So you just make the front and the back uh, smaller or bigger um, just to fit your own body. 
and that's what I like the most and you can make really cute patterns on them uh, or just one color it's that is what I like about crochet you can just make whatever you want and there are so many people um, online that have made um, really cute patterns and just as explaining to you how you um, need to make some things so yes I really love crocheting and just making something for your own or for someone else or just to sell so these pieces that I'm making I am trying to sell so I uh, that's another topic that I wanted to talk about um, my products are now in three stores so three stores in the Netherlands do have my products in their store and I'm really excited it's going really really well um, the things I have in the stores are um, hair accessories and earrings and then craft supplies like I normally make and two of them also have baby clothes that I make um, with really cute baby fabrics and what I wanted to do is make these cardigans and just hang them there and see if someone wants to buy it it is a piece that no one has and I will only make one of them and one in that color and just I think that's really special if you have something like that and yeah so I think it's really beautiful to have a piece that no one has so I am um, putting these cardigans um, in the stores and I have no idea if I am going to sell other crochet products in the stores um, what I also made, really really cute, were some uh, baby pacifier clips. I got the pattern from Pinterest. Um, I just looked up um, baby crochet patterns and then I found these. And I had these clips for a while. First I made them with uh, fabric. So here they are. They are so beautiful and really, really easy to make. You just, um, yeah, it's not even that hard. You can look it up on Pinterest, just uh, crochet baby pacifier clip and you will get them. And these, these are so, so cute. I made them in neutral colors because um, a lot of times the people that now get babies want neutral colors so I made them in those I have no idea where I'm going to sell them but um, I made them and I love them and they were really easy to make so why not and yeah so I am getting my patterns all over the place and I'm also just thinking of something that I can make and um figuring it out in my head and just making it um yeah that's what i just really like to do i just really love to be creative and do a lot of things um so i am doing a lot of projects and crafts and things and i like trying them all and just um doing what I love and that is um, being my own boss and making my own products and just yeah I just love doing what I love to do so I'm almost done with the two rows that I had to make for this one and I think I'm going to uh, be okay with the yarn because I have a small ball left so 
So, and if you may think, oh, you started crocheting last year in December and you're already making a lot of these things. Um, I just learn really, really fast. Um, when I am making something with my hands, um, I figure it out in my head and just do it. Um, so the second piece that I made um, was a round scarf and I just followed the tutorial on YouTube and made it and then um, I also made two vests and uh, some hats. I just learn really fast with these kind of things um, and I love that. It's just, yeah, it's just something, I don't know, I don't know if any other people also have that but it's just really special to learn really quick like that. So two rows are on this one and now I'm going to do the other one. So I have to lay them flat to see if I'm putting the two rows on the uh, on the good side in, <laughs> instead of the wrong side. Start here on, on this side. So, and to get back on the um, shops that I have my products in, um, midway in February I am uh, putting my products in my fourth store already. So I'm really, really excited. It is going pretty well. I almost sell something every day and that makes me happy because I earn a little bit more and someone sees my products and appreciates my products so yes um, and then on this time of year there is a craft fair in the Netherlands for um, doing all things with your hands um, really translated it's the handwork craft fair so um, I'm not going because um, it is really, really far from me, <laughs> but I would like some time to go. Some people that I know from other craft fairs go there and um, they sell like yarn and patterns and um, a lot more um, and just... Um, all things for knitting and crocheting and some of them even uh, made books about crocheting and knitting and I think that's just really great and super cool that you can make that and yeah it's just really cool so then I want to ask you what is your favorite thing to make and do you crochet or do you knit or do you do any other sort of craft or thing? I just really want to like to know what you do and um, if you recommend anything that I can try out, I would really love to know. Um, I have done a lot of things but I just really love trying new things and um, doing new things and figuring out how to do them um, yes so the first row is done so I am finishing this one really quick and then I'm going to show you how the end result looks
So this is a shorter one. So it does not look good on a sweater. But just picture it on a t-shirt or something that is a little bit more like this. Then it's way better. So... Yeah, I really love it. I also really love the sleeves. And it's just, I think the colors are really, really pretty. Not the normal colors that I would use. But it's really cute. The back also looks great. So, yes. This one is really, really pretty. And now we're going on to the balaclava. So for the black and white balaclava, I um, saw a lot of pictures on Pinterest and on Etsy and yeah, just I really, really wanted to try and make one of my own. So what I did, I was, I looked really close at the pictures and just see... Um, saw how they were made and how much granny squares you needed um, and just um, yeah so I have a little book that I put all my crochet patterns in so when I want to make it the next time I can see uh, what I have to do so the things I write down is I make an overall sketch of the product then I put in how many granny squares I need, um, how many rows I put in the granny squares, and what size hook I use. So for this one I use a hook size 5mm. And I'm going to make 8 granny squares. And they all have 6 rows. So um, I already made 4. And the other four I am doing in the opposite colors of this one. So first start with um, black and end with black. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I am starting my first little inside piece. And um, yeah, I think this uh, balaclava is really, really easy. Um... Because granny squares are not that hard. Um, I find them not that hard. But some people do. And I get that because... Um, yeah, not everyone learns as quick as me. And that is also... Okay, I really want to teach also people what I do. Um... So maybe I will make a pattern, um, so I like a tutorial for my channel from, for this one. Um, I really want to make a tutorial for the bucket hat that I made.
I am almost done. I put everything together. Only this piece needs to go here. And then I am done. So it fits really well. So only this one and then it's done. So it fits really well and it was really really easy to make. You just made these squares and attach them together. So really really cute. I love it. I don't know if I am going to wear it outside because I really like it wearing my hat. Um, but yeah, I think it's super great. It turned out pretty well. And also the cardigan fits also pretty well so I think this was a really succeeded crochet project day so I'm all done and I can start on my next projects I don't know what they're going to be but yeah stay tuned and I really love this one so thank you so much for watching this video if you would like a video tutorial pattern for this one let me know i would love to make it it is really easy and i love making it um yeah or maybe just for other things um thank you so much for watching um subscribe to my channel leave a like and then i'll see you in the next one bye